welcome back to my channel just to let you know this whole video is done in a squeaky voice except for a couple parts just to speed it up so I hope you penguins enjoy hey penguins welcome back to my channel so today I'm going to be telling you how to start a YouTube channel now I know this can be the hardest thing in the world when you think about starting a YouTube channel and been there done that I made up every excuse in the world I even have older videos of me videoing myself in my room and then determining that it wasn't good enough to upload so I've been there and um, I've been on YouTube for about I want to say um, since 2007 and that's when I was in high school <laughs> that's my ninth grade year and I used to upload like weird stuff like um uh, I never uploaded anything with beauty because I wasn't really like a guru type of person like I help people with their makeup but I'm um, not I wasn't comfortable enough to make a video on it and didn't know how. So I used to make like sinking videos. I used to make, I had a popular one called The Crazy Taxi Driver and I took that one down and I got a lot of like messages. Why'd you take that down? You should have left it up. And then there was another one of me and my girlfriend, we were playing around, we were singing and to um, Shoop by, what is it? What is it? Shoop by Salt and Peppa. And um, I took that down too. And I wish I had enough. I wish I would have just put them on private, but I didn't. So that's another thing to remember. If you don't like the video, don't delete it. Just private it. Because you never know when you might I want to, you know, watch it again or maybe even upload it again. You never know. Yeah, I wasn't that experienced with YouTube, so I didn't really know what I was doing. <laughs> so, that, that's it. so I'm going to be <laughs> looking at my iPad for, um, you know, what questions I wrote down because, you know, um, I forget or stuff I remember right off, my, right off the bat is that if you're going to start your YouTube channel, of course, if you have a Google account, you have a YouTube. Um, they're all linked together now, which is super helpful. I love that Google did that. It makes everything easier. So, if you have a Google account, then you have it, a YouTube. Now, what you want to do is figure out what your name's going to be. My name is a funny story, um, not really, but on my, my first date, okay, my very first date, 21 years old and I had my first date. I know, crazy, right? Um, anyway, and I was with this guy, and he called me Miss Photogenic, and I was just like, Miss Photogenic? Like, you know, I kind of like that, because everyone told me that I was photogenic, and I've always been called photogenic my whole life, but when you throw a miss in front of it, it's just like sassy, and I love it, like, I was just like, wow, miss, huh? Okay, so, um, fast forward a couple months later, he's like, you should make your IG, your Instagram, Miss Photogenic, and I was like... Huh, I should. Okay, so I was like, okay, whatever. So I made it Miss Photogenic, but there was already a Miss Photogenic, so I had to think of something to go behind it. And I was just like, thinking like to think, something sassy. And I was just like, Miss Photogenic Baby. And I was just like, that sounds amazing. I'm going to do it. Let's go. So I put <laughs> that as my name. And honestly, like, I don't know if I like it anymore, because I don't like my URL and I can't change it since I've had my YouTube for so long. Um, now you can, but they won't let you change it if you had your YouTube since 2007, which is when YouTube was first founded. So <laughs> literally, I saw it on the internet and I signed up. So uh, they won't let me change it. It's Miss Rich Biatch. And that's what my friends used to call me in school because my mom bought me, you know, nice clothes and I always had nice handbags and rich kid stuff. Like, I was not rich, but quotation marks. Um, but I really want to change it because it just does not, like, embody me at all. Like, I'm just like, ew, what a horrible, disgusting URL. But there's nothing I can do about it. All I can do is laugh about it and um, hopefully people see that I'm not like that. Okay, I, I thought it was just, like, a funny little name and I was a little, like, bitchy in high school, so... <sighs> anyway, so keep that in mind. Your name follows you and the 13, almost 1,300 of you, I'm just like, wow, like, I can't, I don't really want to change it because, you know, you guys, my penguins know me as Miss Photogenic. So, <sighs> just remember, your name is going to stick with you. I have my IG name, which is the name I wish I made this channel, Makeup by Alexis J. I wish I named this channel Makeup by Alexis J. I just feel like that has such a... What, what do I want to say? It was such like a presence, a professional presence that I really love. And um, I just wish I would have used that name. You know what? Thumbs up this video if you think I should change my name. If you think that it's too late, thumbs down this video and leave a comment why you think it's too late. Anyway, let's move on. I'm babbling. We're going to go on to number three, and that is get comfortable with recording yourself. Now, since I already got comfortable with recording myself with my webcam, because I did a lot of video chat and stuff like that, I was very much into meeting new people um, when in, like the whole team chat, like, you know, chat rooms came into play, that was my era. So I was very much into that. So I got a webcam really early and I used to chat and whatnot. So I got comfortable with being on, you know, recording myself with being on cam. But it's hard when you are talking to just your, like, I'm talking to my phone camera and it felt weird at first. And I was like, oh my God, there's nobody in here but me. But after, you know, that's the thing about YouTube. After you start getting subscribers, you'll feel like you're talking to your subscribers. I feel like I'm talking to my penguins whenever I record. So it makes me that much more relaxed and chill. You know what I'm saying? So just get comfortable with the camera, maybe make a couple of test videos, you know, um, see how it goes, you know, figure out what works best for you and how you want to look in your videos and, you know, just figure that out first. And then record your final product, edit and all of that and um, upload it. So when you, when you start YouTube, I know a lot of people are like going to tell you, oh, you know, MacBooks are good, blah, 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 blah. I 
actually started off with my iPod. This thing right here, okay? I started off with my iPod, and it wasn't the greatest quality, but um, it was better than some of the people's quality I saw, and they were using cameras. So, <laughs> if you have, like, um, I know the new Galaxy, the Samsung phones have really good um, cameras. They're not as good as the iPhone cameras, I must say, because on my friend's phones, I do notice that their video quality and their overall picture quality isn't better than the iPhone. So, I don't know what that's about, because I remember, um, I know Windows. Windows has the really good, really good um, video quality, but the thing is the editing. That's always going to be trouble with Windows. I didn't have editing on my phone, so when I had my Windows phone, I wanted to make videos, but I couldn't because I didn't have editing. So that's something to think about. And when you buy, like, the newer iPhones, like, I think it's the iPhone 5S, you get, because I have the 5S, so you get free iMovie. So that's something to, like, think about. And then once you have iMovie on your iPhone, you can transfer it to everything else using um, Apple ID and all that stuff. But, yeah, definitely you don't need, you know, a DSLR camera. Am I saying that right? You don't need, like, the latest equipment. Just seriously, start your channel. That's all that matters. And try to put out at least when you first get up, when you first start, I'm talking the first month, try one video a week, and then push it up to two or three videos a week because you want to drive in the traffic. Now, um, other things are, uh, other great things that will get you more subscribers are entering, um, you know, contests. Like, I entered the Next Face Awards. I didn't make it, but I entered, and that pushed me. Like, I think I had 100 Oh my god, I think I have like 120 subscribers when I entered the Next Face Awards. I want to say, like, um, you can go back down to my videos, and I think the video, like, um, Next Face Awards coming soon, I say how many subscribers I had, but I think I had like 100 and something. After the Next Face Awards, I was almost at 400 subscribers. So, that really bumped me up, and that was only within, like, a month. Um, and I got, like, almost 400 subscribers, and then after that, um, I started, you know, pushing out more videos, and I was like, you know, I was very kind of depressed after that, but then I realized, my video quality, like, I need to put more work into my videos. And I was like, you know what, that just pushed me. I started researching and I watched a lot of these videos, which is why I wanted to make this video because um, I started researching and I was like, what can I do to make my videos better? And everything I, you know, saw and I just improved, like, with, especially now with the lighting, that's the key because iPhones are better when you have better lighting. But I also use the light on my iPhone as well just to put more definition in my face, especially with pink eye colors on my face because it can wash me out a little bit. So, um, yeah. But just think about what can you do to make your videos better and how can you edit your videos better. Now, another big thing is don't try to be someone else, okay? We already have a Carly Bell, Bye Bell. We already have a Trisha Paytas. We already have, you know, a Nicole. We already have, we already have, um, who else? Who else? Oh, my God. I can't believe Jocelyn. We already have a Jocelyn. Like, we already have those big name YouTubers. So don't try to be somebody else, you know? Be you. Because it's not about, everyone's kind of, in, especially if you're in the beauty, if you're making beauty videos, be your own person. If you're making, um, you know, what's it called? If you're making, like, those video game videos, be your own person. Like, we don't need a replica. We want an original. And that's why I always say, if you were born original, don't die a copy. Because that is so true. No one's going to watch your videos when they're seeing the same thing. Now, everyone kind of makes the same kind of videos on YouTube. It's, it gets really hard to think of something new. But the great thing about that is when you're original and you're yourself, your video, your Get Ready With Me, is different from all the other Get Ready With Me's because it's you. It's not Carly. It's not Jessica. It's not Lauren. You know, it's like whoever. I don't even think there's a Jessica, but whatever. It's not other people. It's you. So that's what makes it special. It's not the product you're selling. It's how you sell it and what makes you, you know, special. So just remember that. And if you have flaws and you think that you're ugly or you think that, you know, there's something wrong with your face or something wrong with your teeth or something like that, who cares? YouTube does not care. Like, you, if this is not, like, the best place on earth to basically just be like, you know, I have flaws, take me as I am, it's freaking YouTube. Like, honestly, you don't have to be a beauty queen. There are people out there who want to watch real people with real skin problems and real teeth problems or real, you know, just real problems, period, and they want to see how it looks on you. Nobody wants to see perfection all day long. It's great, you know, to watch and see how pretty they are and blah, 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 but after a while, you just want to see a normal person, you know, doing their makeup, just, like, being normal, you know what I'm saying? Like, not everyone is, you know, super hot with beautiful skin and straight teeth, like, or, you know, it's just a beautiful perky boobs and a nice ass body. Like, it just doesn't work that way. So, <laughs> I think, and a lot of times people think that you can't start a YouTube because of that. But honestly, you can. Be you and do you. So, that's on to that. Another thing is the description box is your best friend along with your title. Your title tells them what is going to be, it's the most important. Your title is the most important. It's telling people what your video is about. And it also helps Google kind of sort your um, videos to make it higher on the searching. 
on the search. So like when you first start your YouTube, maybe you want to do a popular video. That way your channel will get searched and people will find you quicker. And also your um oh your thumbnails. They're, they are very, very important. Like you can get custom thumbnails, anyone can get them now, anyone can be a partner. So you can get custom thumbnails that way. And one thing I realized is holding the phone horizontally or whatever, like if you're using your phone, holding it horizontally will give you the length of the thumbnail. And also like one of your videos, um you can just like sometimes I pose at the end of my video and I screenshot it. Um I also have some apps for editing, for thumbnails, even for I figured out how to make my own um how to make my own banner off of my phone because my computer wasn't working and I don't like the library. So I learned how to make my own banner off of my phone, all of that. So if you guys want another video of me like showing you how I edit and how I set up and also how I make my banners and thumbnails and whatnot like that because I just figured out how to keep them within that little box and not be, you know, cut off. So I just figured that out and there's a great app, like I love the apps. I think I'll link them down below as well. And they're great for everything else as well. Your description box. Always have that filled out because you, if you have social media, if you're going to start your YouTube account, please have social media. Um, You know, like people want to find you. They want to keep up with you. And right now, like my social media is pushing up. It's moving up. But I always have the links down there just in case because, you know, what if someone wants to keep up with me? Have that filled out. Have a little message. You know, all your social media. Um, Even kind of you can put what you use to film and what you use to edit. Um, Put your tags in there because that also helps your video get found and get searched higher on the... um. What I want to call it search engine because Google's one of the biggest search engines in the world and YouTube's the second because Google owns it now. So remember that your tags and your um, title along with your thumbnail are the most important things to getting your video lots and lots of views. So just keep that in mind. And let's talk about being patient. <laughs> when you first start YouTube, it could feel like nobody is watching you and you're just talking to yourself. Um, there are a few people who get on YouTube and they are an instant success. Like there's one girl I, I subscribed to her, she had like 100 subscribers. And then the next thing I knew, she was almost up to a thousand like me and then she reached a thousand before I reached a thousand and I was like damn and I was in one month okay one month but she started off with really great videos and her editing's awesome and she's a really pretty girl so you know some people just get kicked up a lot faster there are some people on YouTube that I watch that have only been on YouTube for a year and they have about you know a hundred thousand subscribers you know what I mean so it all depends on what kind of videos you make and the quality getting the best quality out of your videos now the most searched videos of course right now that I don't want to make um are get ready with me um I do get ready with me is my makeup let's see um get on ready with me room tours um what else what else is really popular oh yeah tumblr everything like tumblr room decor DIY videos are always popular um cooking videos all that stuff that's always popular so yeah, if you make those kinds of videos, then of course you're going to get more popular. Views announcement, um, I just got partnered with Style Hall, and I actually filled out the paper myself. I wanted to get partnered with them a long time ago, but that's another thing I want to talk about is the music. Uh, be careful with your music. You're allowed to use less than 30 seconds of any song you want, but it has to be less than 30 seconds. It can be 29 seconds, it can't be 30 seconds, and it can't be like 29 0.8 seconds. It has to be less than 30 seconds. Literally less. So, <laughs> I always do like 28.8 seconds of a song in my video. Um, so yeah, keep that in mind. So since I had copyrighted music in a lot of my videos at the beginning, um, I couldn't, and you'll see there's one video down there, my plus size um, outfit of the day. It has no music at all because I totally took it out and ruined my video. I got like 200 views of that, like the first, I want to say, hour, the first two hours it was up, and then I had to delete it, and then I had to re-upload it. It was just so annoying. So just keep that in mind. And get with Style Hall because of that and they told me I needed to have 10,000 um, views 10,000 views a month for three consecutive months so I think it was because um, you know of my music and and because um yeah because of my music so I applied with them I think I tried two times and it was because of the music the second time so <laughs> um, I finally learned my lesson but anyway I'm partnering with Style Hall right now I just signed my con la 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 I just signed my contract and as you'll see my banner has Style Hall up there um, so yeah I'm happy about that and you'll get approached by a lot of different um, networks, but you need to do your research because you are going to be signed with them. And I do get paid for my videos, but it's not a lot. Like, it's, I can't talk about it, but it's not a lot. I made my 100 milestone, I can tell you that. Um, I want to say about nine months into YouTube, so I worked my butt off. <laughs> but I made my nine month milestone, and that's because I made like videos that got really popular. The video that really got me subscribers, that got me going, was my, um, what was it? Oh, it was my phone case video, um, my iPhone phone case video. And here are my phone cases. It was my phone case collection. Here, here are all of them. So yeah, I did a um, collection video on that. And that has about, I don't know, I think like 20,000 views or something. And then I made, um, so that got me to like 100 subscribers. And I was making videos between there, but I wasn't really motivated because no one was talking to me. I just felt like I was nobody on YouTube. So I 
I started making videos and you know more and more and then I made a video about my what the hell is this series and then I have another what the hell is this series because a company contacted me about this um detox tea and they're gonna be sending it out to me next week so um yes I'll have another what the hell is this <laughs> video but my other one was about it works body wraps and that has like one of them has like 30,000 views and whatnot and right now I think I'm at like 100,000 views overall so yeah um and I stopped with the copywriting like with leaving like a long um what's it called I stopped with the um, more than 30 seconds of music on my on my videos, so I don't have any copyright um, violations anymore. So that's how I got with Style Hall. And you want to be careful with that. So remember, less than 30 seconds, you can use any song you want. Um, YouTube will tell you different, but they don't mark you if you pay for it. Less than 30 seconds, and you have to. That's monetizing your videos. But be contacted by a lot of you know people sometimes that want to like sign you up to a network. But be careful with that because they are going to be taking some of your money and they're going to have you know control of your YouTube in some way. Like they can like they can get onto your, your YouTube account. So be careful because what if they're shady and they delete all your videos? Can't get those back. So research and a lot of people on YouTube are partnered with Style Hall. That's why I decided to go ahead with them. And um, so far so good. I, I like it. I'm not. I'm not bugging, I just want to grow my channel and push out more videos. So, and if I can get more, you know, subscribers in the meantime, that's great. More subscribers for me, more videos. <laughs> Another thing that I don't do, or well, I try to do, have a schedule of when you're going to upload. I always try to upload on Mondays and Fridays, but sometimes I end up uploading on the weekends instead. So I'm going to talk about something else. Um, please, 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 please. Don't go on other people's YouTube and spam them. That is the most annoying thing. I did it. I did it. Like, that's why I know it's annoying. Like, but I wasn't mean about it. Like, I, I generally like their videos. And I said, oh, I like your video. Then check out my channel. But there are people that come on my channel and they're just like, no offense to you guys, but it pisses me off. They're like, check out my channel or follow that. And I'm just like, did you even like my video? Like, do you watch my channel? Like, it's so annoying. At least give a fucking compliment to the person's video. Like, damn. And that makes me ignore people. Like, I'm just like, so you didn't even watch my video. You just want a follow for a follow, which I don't mind subscribing. Like, it's not taking anything from me. This isn't a competition. But at least ask the nice way. Like, damn. Like, did you like my video? Do you watch my videos? Are you just on my channel trolling? Like, so, you guys, if you're gonna put your information on somebody else's video, give them acknowledgement. And then put politely put down your channel name and say if you would like to follow, if you would like to subscribe, please subscribe. And with a smiley face, don't say sub for sub. Like, no, this is not Instagram, okay? Like, subbing doesn't make a big difference on my end. It does, I don't care. Like, I can sub. I think I'm sub to like um 500 people. Yeah, I, I'm sub to a lot of people. So, you know, it doesn't make a big difference, but how you ask makes the difference. Because I don't think I'm better than anyone, but I just, it pisses me off and it makes me not want to sub to your channel. So please don't do that. Please. Please, please, don't do that. Yeah. Moving on. The lighting I use is, what is it called? Studio, no, Photo Studio Pro. And I'll have the link. The link's always at the bottom to where to buy it. And I got it on sale for 40 bucks. And they are umbrella lights. And I like them. I mean, they could be brighter, but I just feel like they give, like, a natural light. So I like it. I can dig it. Any other questions on how to start a YouTube channel? Please don't be, don't hesitate. Uh, uh, please don't hesitate to tell me. And yeah, um, and I use my iPhone 5S for filming, like I told you guys. I use a selfie stick to as my tripod, and I used to use that without a tripod itself. And now that I have a tripod, I just screw my selfie stick onto the tripod, and that's how you're not getting any movement. If you watch my older videos, it, my phone used to sit on top of things, and it used to shake, and my videos had like that shakiness to them. And um, I quickly learned that that's not the way to go. So the moral of the story is, is that people like to see you grow. They like to see your channel you know, improving, and they like to see, you know, wow, she started from the bottom, now she's here, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, like, that's what they like to see, so I really did start from the bottom, my videos were less than perfect, and now I'm kind of here, like, I'm getting the hang of it, I'm making better videos, and, um, I can honestly say I, I love YouTube, like, I really do, I hope this helped you guys out, please remember to be original, stay patient, your fans will come, and don't do it for the money, don't do it for the fame, because you will definitely not succeed. I can honestly tell you I was way too anxious when I first started YouTube, and, you know, it just made me frustrated and not really want to film, so just calm down and do it for fun and have fun with it and figure out where you want to go. I mean, if you want to do this for a career, go for it. I mean, if that's what you want to do, and if you just want to, like, for me, I just, I don't know, like, I just kind of like the YouTube community, and it's something that I've always wanted to do. I've always wanted to make YouTube videos, so I guess I do want to do this for a career in the future, like, if that ever happens. Um, if it does, great. If it doesn't, you know, oh well, I'll still make videos. It doesn't matter. I like making videos. I like seeing myself improve. So, I mean, if the opportunity presents itself, yes, I would love this to be my career. But I honestly love it. I love making my videos. I love editing. I love all of it. So, if you are thinking about starting a YouTube channel, don't think anymore. 
do it like right now after you're done watching this video go set up some light i used to use this light i used to use this light right here as you can see it is very bright my face probably got a little weird but it is a white it's a oh wait not right now it's a yellow light bulb in there but i had a um daylight blue one in there so if you want to start it use one of those lights you can get them from anywhere really um if you have a little bit more money like 40 something 47 dollars you can get umbrella lights um i wouldn't recommend buying a 500 dollars camera just starting youtube i definitely would not recommend that because you don't know if you're gonna like it and you don't know if it's for you um i also recommend if you do makeup tutorials like i do buying one of these little mirrors these really help. I got this one for 20 bucks. It's small, but it works. I got it for 20 bucks off of eBay, and I saw it in Target for 60. So, woo. Um, I kind of dodged a bullet there. I hope this helped you, penguins, and please don't forget to hit that subscribe button, and don't forget to check out my latest video, my last video. Um, it'll be in the little um, clip coming next. You can click it if you're on a, P, um, a PC. And yeah, so I will see you, penguins, later, and don't forget that you were born original. Don't die a copy. Start your channel if you want to start your channel, and leave if you already have a channel. And let me know who you are so I can um, see your channel and maybe even subscribe. So, you penguins have a great rest of the week. We'll have a great weekend. And I will see you penguins later. Bye. I'm the type of person, like, I help people with their makeup, but um, not, I wasn't comfortable enough to make a video on it. I didn't know how. So, I used to make, like, singing videos. I used to make, I had a popular one called The Crazy Taxi Driver. And I took that one down, and I got a lot of, like, messages. Why'd you take that down? You should have left it up. And then there was another one of me and my girlfriend. We were playing around, we were singing. And to, um, Shoop by, what is it? What is it? Shoop by Salt and Peppa. And, um, I took that down, too. And I wish I had enough. I wish I would have just put them on private, but I didn't. So, that's another thing to remember. If you don't like the video, don't delete it. Just private it. Because you never know when you might want to, you know, watch it again or maybe even upload it again you never know yeah i wasn't that experienced with youtube so i didn't really know what i was doing <laughs> so th that's it. so i'm gonna be <laughs> looking at my ipad for um you know what questions i wrote down because you know um i forget a step i remember right off my right off the bat is that if you're going to start your youtube channel of course if you have a google account you have a youtube um they're all linked together now which is super helpful i love that google did that it makes everything easier so if you have a google account then you have it a youtube now what you want to do is figure out what your name's going to be my name is a funny story, um, not really, but on my, my first date, okay, my very first date, 21 years old and I had my first date. I know, crazy, right? Um, anyway, and I was with this guy, and he called me Miss Photogenic, and I was just like, Miss Photogenic, like, you know, I don't like that, because everyone told me that was photogenic, and I've always been called photogenic my whole life, but when you throw a miss in front of it, it's just like sassy, and I love it, like, I was just like, wow, miss, huh? Okay, so, um, fast forward a couple months later, he's like, you should make your IG, your Instagram, Miss Photogenic, and I was like... Huh, I should. Okay, so I was like, okay, whatever. So I made it Miss Photogenic, but there was already a Miss Photogenic, so I had to think of something to go behind it. And I was just like, thinking like to stick, something sassy. And I was just like, Miss Photogenic Baby. And I was just like, that sounds amazing. I'm going to do it. Let's go. So I put <laughs> that as my name. And honestly, like, I don't know if I like it anymore, because I don't like my URL and I can't change it since I've had my YouTube for so long. Um, now you can, but they won't let you change it if you had your YouTube since 2007, which is when YouTube was first founded. So <laughs> literally, I saw it on the internet and I signed up. So uh, they won't let me change it. It's Miss Rich Biatch. And that's what my friends used to call me in school, because my mom bought me, you know, nice clothes and I always had nice handbags. Welcome back to my channel. Just to let you know, this whole video is done in a squeaky voice, except for a couple parts, just to speed it up. So I hope you penguins enjoy. Hey penguins, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be telling you how to start a YouTube channel. Now I know this can be the hardest thing in the world when you think about starting a YouTube channel. And been there, done that, I made up every excuse in the world. I even have older videos of me videoing myself in my room and then determining that it wasn't good enough to upload. So I've been there. And I've been on YouTube for about, I wanna say um, since 2007. And that's when I was in high school. <laughs> that's my ninth grade year. And I used to upload like weird stuff. Like um, uh, I never uploaded anything with beauty because I wasn't really like a guru and rich kid stuff. Like I was not rich, but quotation marks um but i really want to change it because it just does not like embody me at all like i'm just like ew what a horrible disgusting url but there's nothing i can do about it all i can do is laugh about it and um hopefully people see that i'm not like that okay i i thought it was just like a funny little name and i was a little like bitchy in high school so <sighs> anyway so keep that in mind your name follows you and the 13 almost 1300 of you i'm just like wow like i can't i don't really want to change it because you know you guys my penguins know me as miss photogenic so <sighs> 
just remember your name is going to stick with you. I have my IG name, which is the name I wish I made this channel, Makeup by Alexis J. I wish I named this channel Makeup by Alexis J. I just feel like that has such a, what, what do I want to say? It's such like a presence, a professional presence that I really love.